Interest rates have increased the last few weeks, and is there any sign of hope of that stopping? We're gonna dig in deep for this month's month, mid-month mortgage update and see what's going on with mortgage. Thank you again, Jeremiah, for coming back for this month's mid-month mortgage update. Good to have you. Yeah, thank you for having me again. And for those that don't know, Jeremiah is a lender at Guild Mortgage here in Northern Nevada, and I am real estate agent here at Keller Williams here in Reno as well. So uh, let's let's start talking. I, I saw an article just this morning, actually, from uh, Redfin did a study and said 38% of uh, homeowners could not buy the same home today in the current climate that we're in uh, yeah. that's crazy to me and 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 uh, I, I wanted to bring that topic up because I feel like that's what's really hindering our real estate market right now is yeah. they can't afford something else with interest rates right mm -hmm. and so where where are we seeing interest rates right now just for those watching they're sitting at about seven and a half percent for conventional and just about seven percent for the FHA and VA loans wow. okay and that's uh, we were, I mean, how, how low did yeah. we get the last, earlier this we year? We got right under 7% mm -hmm. um, right at the beginning of the year. Yeah. So, yeah, so we kind of showed signs of hope, but now have picked back up. Yeah. The <laughs> According to the reports, the market, or the economy is doing too well. <laughs> Basically. <Gosh. yeah. laughs> Whether you believe it or not, that's what the reports say. <laughs> we'll leave you to decide that. But, uh, okay, so... Um, Speaking of the reports, though, uh, the feds are meeting next week, yeah. uh, and they're going to obviously take take a look at what's going on with all the other reports that came out and stuff, and make their decision of mm -hmm. what they're going to do with rates. What what what's the plan there? <laughs> well, I mean, I think if anyone's been watching the news, they know that interest rates have continued to increase. Mm -hmm. um, the inflation numbers and the labor market numbers are proving to be stronger than they expected. So. We were supposed to have a rate cut in March, and then another one in June, another one in November, another one in December. <laughs> March is already gone. <laughs> April's about gone. gone. Um, and so what we're seeing now is that they are most likely not going to lower interest rates or do any rate cuts until potentially November. And even that right now has a 50% confidence. Wow. Um, so we'll see what they do next week, but everyone is predicting, especially with the reports that are coming out next week too, um, um, that they will just keep rates where they're at um, and I do expect more volatility in a couple weeks uh, or in the coming weeks I should say um, because of all the data that's going to be released. Okay. Yeah. yeah if they come in more better than expected then we're probably going to see those numbers go up yeah. even more yeah. uh, okay so buyers sitting on the sideline they're like okay we're going to wait till you know I want a five or six percent interest rate yeah uh, what 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 should they be thinking about right now in this moment? Well, a good question, right? So, like, a lot of buyers that I'm talking to are in that boat of, like, mm -hmm. is it better to buy now and take a higher payment? Is it better to wait and take a lower price, you know, interest rate, whatever it is? But when we run the numbers, I did this literally last week. It's actually interesting. So, they want to be at a $400,000 house, 15% uh, down with a $2,500 payment. That's attainable closely if we get to a 699 interest rate um, but if we wait let's say in home prices increase by you know eight eight and a half ten percent or whatever and we're at like a 440 or 450 thousand dollar price but the interest rates five and a half percent the payment was thirty seven dollars more per month then even with the lower rate wow so it's weird yeah right? so it's like it doesn't really make sense to wait when you kind of boil down the numbers and they lose out that chance of equity gain just of mm -hmm. the home price appreciation. I know uh, in my market update I posted earlier this month uh, for March, the home, median home price actually jumped up considerably. So if, if home prices continue to go upward, you're going to miss that opportunity to gain that equity because yeah. if that... You know, let's just say you buy a five hundred thousand dollar home today. Maybe at the end of the year, it's worth five twenty five or five forty. Who who knows at this point? Um, but if it continues to go upward, you're going to gain that equity over time. Yeah. So while it's important to feel confident with the payment that you're making, uh, don't don't stress yourself out too much with the payment. Yeah. <laughs> but just if you can afford it. Yeah. Exactly. So don't sit on the sidelines waiting for that perfect rate. You know buy real estate and then wait <laughs> yeah and most people don't know what the perfect rate is 
you know, what is the difference really between 5.375 and 5.5? Like really nothing. It's, yeah. And really nothing at all. And if we think about it, like a 7% mortgage, you know, on the $400,000 loan, that's a great interest rate. Yeah. You know, credit cards are like at 20, 30%. Like HELOCs are like at eight or nine or 10%. Like car loans, a lot of people have good car loans, but some of the rates yes. now are still pretty high. Pretty high, yeah. So I think it's a good time still, um, and that window of opportunity is still there while rates are high, but the moment they are lower, it'd yeah. be a little crazy. We're yeah. seeing it right now with multiple offers. Oh yeah, that's, a, I mean, just my last listing I put on, we had a, m multiple offers on it, so um, there's a demand still. People want homes and there's not enough homes out there. So uh, if you are curious about the real estate market, want to either dive in and buy something, you can get connected with Jeremiah, get you set up with financing, and. Uh, connect with me and I can help you find that perfect home and beat out the market. Uh, so we'll put our information right here below and check us out. And if you have any other questions about the real estate market or want to have hear what topics you want us to talk about in future uh, mortgage update videos, comment them below and let us know. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll give it a moment now. <laughs> and uh, we will see you next month. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.